Hello, Matthew from Plugin Everything here. Welcome to an update video about Ripple Edit. I'm going to first begin this by saying that nothing on the surface or on the functionality has changed. However, quite a bit has changed in the back end, behind the scenes. So let's start with the initial or the biggest change. We've gone from a CP panel or a HTML panel, which would normally be found in Windows extensions, to a script UI panel, which is found down here right near OCD Renamer. The reason for this is to support more compatible things. CP panels, or the way at least that I had built them and set them up in my development environment, meant they were only compatible with CC 2018 and 2019. The script UI panel is compatible with CC 2014, I believe is the earliest one, right up until the latest one. So far more compatibility. It also has a couple other uh, little tidbits. One of the interesting things is tooltips now work, as you can see, which was a complaint we got a couple from, uh, from a couple people. So hovering the mouse over, you'll get a tooltip for each of the buttons. Sometimes they're a little bit buggy, working on that. Another feature that has been, well, it did exist, but I never actually mentioned it, was if you hold down Alt and double click the background, it changes orientation, allowing you to position it however you like. Now, since there isn't a flyout menu for the licensing for this one, you hold down Command or Control on Windows and double click the background and the licensing will pop up. Now, if you have any concerns about licensing, you know, will my license carry across this new system? Absolutely, without a doubt. When you download the new package or the new update, you'll find a zip inside. Just install that as you normally would into your script UI panels folder, which can be found, uh, well, we'll leave it in the description in the document and run After Effects. You'll find it down here, type in your license and you're good to go. As I said, everything is exactly the same other than that. The functionality still works and it will behave exactly the same as it did before. The only difference is it's a bit more compatible and a bit more compact. So I hope you guys enjoy the new update. I hope it's not too distressing or too painful to switch over to a new system. As we said, there were a couple of technical reasons, but the main one is compatibility. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.